you cannot force someone's hand into love. You know, you cannot force someone to be ready for something when they're just not. People seem to, people need their own time to heal and trying to like speed that up doesn't necessarily uh, work. You are never more alive than when you're a teenager. Your brain is flush with chemicals that can turn your life into a story of epic proportions. And yet, by the start of my senior year, nothing interesting had ever happened to me. Then, something finally happened. Hi guys, come on in. What's up? It is so good to meet you, even though it's virtual. Fantastic work in this film. Oh, um, thank you. You really were drawn into this story. You serve as a producer on the movie, uh, but I also read that you sent the book that it's based on to your director. Tell me about that. I was sent the book and asked if I wanted to turn it into a film. And I read the book, I loved it. And I, my, basically my manager and agent took it upon themselves to find a young, passionate director who was willing to, to tell the story with me. And it basically was my manager and agent who found Rich and Rich read the book and he flew out to Vancouver to meet with me and because I was still filming Riverdale at the time. And so he came out and we, we talked about it and our vision for the film completely aligned with one another. And we were like, okay, let's do it. We're making this film together. This is a very raw, real look at growing up, dealing with youth, you know, becoming an adult, but in current times. Um, is that what drew you to this story? I think what drove me to it were these feelings in the book, this sense of, of crossing the threshold from adolescence into adulthood through pain and tragedy and loss and heartbreak. Um, I related to that and I, and I, I loved the idea of an anti-romance, of a, of a sort of a, a romance that's actually about a failed love story. Uh, that's about two people who want each other for different and conflicting reasons and probably not the right reasons. Because I think it's something we all have to go through at one, uh, one time or another in our lives. And generally it can happen when you're younger. What was your takeaway? Like after learning the story, after playing this role, what what did what was your takeaway from this? I think it's something to be taken away from this movie is when it comes to like fixing someone. Just I think people seem to people need their own time to heal, and trying to like speed that up doesn't necessarily uh, work, especially when you just want them to heal so that then you can like have a relationship with them and like. Um, love them and have their love. Um, that's not something that necessarily doesn't doesn't work very well. Or, or you know, why do you even you shouldn't even want it to work necessarily. You know, gotta let them like heal in their own time. You have some pretty emotional scenes. Um, how did you cool down after filming the scene, scenes like that? I think I. It's a relief when those scenes are over because you feel like. You know that scene take those scenes take a lot out of you. You really are using your your everything, putting all of your emotion, all of your heart into it. And so when you're done filming them, you're kind of like, okay, you know, you you feel like you just ran a marathon, but with your emotions. So you kind of I I just like very much take it easy on myself for the rest of the night. I made sure I got like a, I, a good amount of sleep. I, I, but I also just always felt very proud of myself for, for getting, you know, it's not easy to cry on camera or cry in front of a lot of people. And so I'm always happy anytime I can just kind of muster up that emotion. I'm like, give myself a pat on the back. I'm like, okay, we did our job today. You put your heart and soul into this. I could definitely tell. And so my final question for you is, what was your takeaway? I know people always ask, you know, what do you want people to take away? But what was your takeaway now that it's out and it's done? I think it's a really interesting, and it, I didn't really realize this was one of the messages of the film until it was over, but, but kind of the idea that when you care about someone and you're falling in love or you love someone and, and you want them to change, it's, you cannot force someone's hand into love. You know, you cannot force someone to be ready for something when they're just not. It's something that they have to be ready for. No amount of loving someone can, can make them change if they're not ready to, or can heal them if they're not ready to. And so Grace had to go through her grieving process before she could ever be with Henry. And that's kind of just 
the way that it goes. It, you know, it's you can't you can't force someone. You can't force someone when they're not ready. You had a rule on the set: no cell phones. If I'm not mistaken, okay, you're you're green. So tell me, tell me why that was important for you while while filming. Well, I, you know, you're dealing. First of all, it's annoying. You know, and 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 it, and it and it and it it sort of like detracts from the atmosphere of people working. I think, which is, you know, I, I, that's important to me. And, and by the way, it was not without protest from some other people, uh, but it was very important to me um, uh, uh, for, for that reason. But more, more importantly, because a lot of intimate scenes, a lot of emotional scenes, I needed the actors to kind of open themselves up to the camera and be vulnerable and real. And uh, I think if someone's behind the camera texting, um, it's a, it's a, it's an utter, uh, utter distraction and, uh, yeah, I have very strong feelings about cell phones on live sets. 